we go. Whoops. Oh boy. That was the wrong the button. Lusitania moment. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're back in Stormworks, and today, we're taking a look at the Lancastia. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we are on board, and this is actually my first time looking at the vessel. Usually, I will do a quick overview of the vessel before I even start the video, but I'm running a little short on time, and I just quickly decided, why not check out this ship? And it looks pretty awesome. It's got a lot of detail, and I know Jake Hillen mentioned it looked like Titanic. So, uh, yeah, um, well, obviously it doesn't fully look like Titanic, but it does have some inspirations from the White Star Line vessels, would you say? Uh, it, I'd say it actually has, like, just the look of both the Titanic and a Cunard ship. Like, it has these big vents and, like, these little, like, superstructure catwalks here and just all along the deck here. It really reminds me of, like, the Lusitania or Mauritania or something, but if it had Titanic's interior, I guess... Yeah, and as well as those uh, swinging out davits, the radial davits, those are super cool as well. So yeah, why don't we go ahead and start up this ship. So um, yeah, I guess we'll go to the bridge and just quickly check that area out. It does look like it's uh, pretty detailed as well. We do have a bit of a wheelhouse, but what's interesting is, is this wheelhouse is actually enclosed inside of the bridge. It's not like on Titanic where it's just a regular opening and then you just walk over to the wheelhouse. This one is sort of inside, which is interesting. So one interesting thing is that these windows here on the, I guess you could call it the officer's promenade, they're actually like open on the top portion. So that's like a nice little touch there. Yeah, and I believe this is the same on Titanic, just the opposite way around where the hinge would be above. So let's go down below and let's start up the ship. So it's always nice to see another traditional coal running ship in the game. So here we have the main staircase. Now, this one is actually slightly spiraled. Oh, it is spiraled. It just goes down there. I thought it ended here, but no, it goes down. And look at this interior. This is really, really nice. Look at this. We got a piano, a sitting area. This looks to be a reception space. Wow. We got a purser's office right here. Look at that. All right, so making our way down onto C deck. And I just love this staircase design, but we have a dining room. Look at this. This is quite remarkable, and I really like this. Come over to the portholes. You'll notice they're oh, open. Yeah they, have the, yeah, they have the little covers above that you can close down. That is really, really nice. Now, what's interesting is it's not quite center because we do have a Scotland Road. Well, you probably wouldn't call it a Scotland Road on this ship, but... It's obviously um, supposed to be based off a, uh, a main crew corridor. And here yeah, we have the boiler room. Probably a crew corridor. So it looks like all we have to do is just press start. And we also have a vent as well. So if the ship is about to explode due to like a boiler or something, we can just vent the steam and that should basically solve the situation. All right, so going this way, this is really cool. Wow. So here we have the crewman's stairwell. So this should go up to the forecastle deck, if I'm not wrong. And it stops off at the, uh, the crewman's passage here. And we actually have a third class entrance. This is really stunning. You know, I'll be honest with you, this is one of the best ships I've seen in a while on this game. I don't know about you, Jake Hillen, but this looks really good. All right, so going over here, we do have a third class general room. This is really, really nice. Oh, look at that. We turned on the boilers and there is now steam coming out of the funnels. All right, so before we get too lost here, I'm gonna go up to the bridge. I'm gonna start up those engines and wow. Um, it looks like that crewman stairwell actually yeah, just leads up. up. That is so cool. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start this thing up. So here we go. And there we are. And are we moving? Yes, we are. Oh my gosh. Um, are we supposed to be leaning over this way? Uh, I'm gonna go check the- Yeah, we're uh, evening out. Okay. I'm not sure what that was. Well, the Lancastia, which is the name of this ship, is on its way. So I don't know where exactly it's going, but it's sailing somewhere. Now, Jake Hillen, how would you feel about a nighttime sinking on a flat, calm ocean? Oh, that'll feel uh, pretty nice. Pretty reminiscent of a disaster that uh, would change the face of shipping for, uh, well, ever. 
Let's check out one of these lifeboats before we do anything. We'll just swing it out and, well, this one's already swung out, so I guess, um, it's just a simple... Wow, look at how fast that goes. Okay, so I'm gonna lower these down to almost deck level, just in case anything were to happen. And I do like the speed of this vessel as well. It looks very realistic, and I think that's the aim of this build, is to be realistic. And something cool I'm noticing is not only there's smoke coming out of the funnels, but also a little bit of steam. Now, would that be accurate, J. Killen? Uh, if the, I assume if the pressure does reach high enough that it will vent from the top portions of the funnels through the pipes and areas near where the whistles are. That is so super I would say cool. that's probably accurate. Now, there is a space that we have missed, and that is the lounge. So I think we have to go back the way we just came to go down to it. Now, this lounge is the first class lounge, of course. Now, I'm not sure if there is a second class on board, but uh, we might be able to find that out in a minute or two. So let's go this way. And here we are. We're back in the main staircase, and we'll check out that room in a minute. But uh, here we have the lounge. Very cool. Also got some cards on these tables. Yes, this is very nice. I like the little details. It is just really, really good. Now, this lounge does remind me of a lounge, um, and I think I'll just hand it over to you to tell us what lounge this reminds you of, or, well, me as well. I would say it's really reminiscent of Titanic, obviously, just moreover with the, um, the paneling, the dome in the middle, and then these little, you know, just extrusions out for the the windows here they could look out onto the deck this is really just a mini titanic with its own little twists i love it and here's something interesting do you notice that i think we're in a different area of the ship than we were before because yeah this is a different staircase hold yeah, on there's another purser's office maybe this is the first class staircase wow there is a pool on board so this has just gotten even better so I would say that this is really a mini version of the Titanic, just in its own different way. Well, you could also say it's a mini version of the Olympic, because we don't want to discriminate against ships here. But, I mean, this is just really, really nice. Now, we must have a second class area, because the area that we were just in when we started out the tour going down, that sort of spiral staircase, which is also reminiscent of Titanic second class staircase, both of them, where they wrap around, and this one, obviously, is a callback to the Grand Staircase that you would find on the Olympic-class liners. Okay, so um, now I'm wondering where the dining room is for the first-class area. Or is it just mixed in with the, uh, the second-class area? Because over here, this leads out to the uh, main uh, hallway. And then going over here, this is the second-class staircase. And look at this. This is a bit of a uh, lounge or something. Very nice. I think there was one area that we were still having to check out somewhere near here. Hmm. I think Maybe it was at the other staircase. The grand staircase or the... Uh... I believe so. I All think right. it was at the other one. Yep, so let's go down to... Uh, we'll just call it Scotland Road. Um, and then we will go forward. And here we are. Well, this is where the lounge would be. Oh, yeah, you're talking behind yeah, here. Yeah, this room right here. Now, this is the smoking room. This has got to be that. And look at that. There's a painting up there. That actually looks like a small cutout of, um, arriving in Plymouth Harbor. But I could be wrong. Well then, this is just fantastic work. I am blown away. But anyways, we're going to sail out into the darkness and we're going to see what happens when the ship sinks. All right. Are you ready? I am about yeah. to click the sink button. So, in three, two... One, the ship has started sinking. So, let's just say we've hit an iceberg. I'm going to stop the ship. There we are. And the engines have been turned off. So, I think we should go down below and just check the damage. Now, there's an easy way down, and it's simply through the uh, crewman's stairwell. So, I'm going to go down. And... Oh, yeah, we got water in the boiler room. Oh, really? So, I think we yep. should vent the steam. Yep. All right. Go for it. Um... Awesome, and I'll get this Bench. side. Perfect. Ooh, that's an interesting sound. It's like something started uh, roaring there. Could be the steam, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go up to the uh, main deck and see what's going on. Oh, we're definitely venting steam. There's a lot of steam coming out, as well as smoke. So, yeah, we are tilting, as you said. Well then, um, 
What is your uh, summary for the damage right now? How bad is it? Uh, does not look good if the boiler room is flooding rapidly right now. All right. Um, now I'm not sure if we have an engine room, so I think it may just be the boiler room. Did we check that? Um, let's just make sure. Let's double check this area. Let's make sure that there, if there are watertight doors, they're closed. Okay. No, it doesn't look like we do have an engine room, so. We don't have to shut any watertight doors, but the water is already up to my waist in the boiler room, and I am now swimming, so uh, that is not good. Looks like uh, the portholes where the dining room is are starting to go under, so that is not good. I think we should get the boats out. Yeah, I opened the gangway. The water is like a few feet below the gangway door. There. Really? Yep. Oh my gosh, you're not even kidding. Okay, let's uh, close that. Oh boy, those swing out pretty fast. I'm a little worried with these boats because they're going to, like, scrape along the side. Yeah, All might right. be a bit of an issue. So I like how you actually have to crawl over the gate there. It's really realistic. There we go. Whoops. Oh, boy. That was the wrong the button. Lusitania moment. Boats are dropping down. I'm going to drop them down to deck level. I'll let you lower them all the way. I'll lower them to deck level. Don't worry, women and children. There's nothing to worry about. We're just having an orderly drill. It is purely just for precaution. Yeah, I'm cranking them in some so okay. that they're not too far from the deck. Oh, that is a good idea. Let me uh, do that as well. So that is one of the benefits of the radial davits. It must be easy to just reel them in, unlike the uh, Welland davits where you have to crank multiple times to just get it to roll in just a little bit. So that is actually pretty good. Okay, that should be it. They are all down to the deck level. I'm going to go down below, and I'm going to check the damage again, so uh, I'll be back. Oh, boy, it's bad. Um, so, I just closed the door, but water was flooding into the stairs. Um, oh, boy. Basically, right now, the water is about... I would say the entire boiler room is flooded, but uh, not completely flooded. It's uh, flooded all the way across. It's not like as it was before. Where it was just on one end. It is now flooded all the way across. Alright, I'm getting the boats launched. I'm in the third class area right now, and I found the third class dining room! So it looks like you're doing well with these boats, which is good. Yeah, we got two more. What's this area here? Well, just an empty space. This is your cabin here. I'm surprised! Besides the list, the ship seems to be relatively stable. It's not really freaking out, rolling all over the place. It's just sitting here okay. Not bad at all. So, I'm a little worried. Is something gonna happen? I don't know. We have to find I hope out. not. Yeah. Do we have any flares? Uh, yes. We do have some to the side. It's on the port side of the bridge. Alright. Well, right um, I'll give you the go-ahead to fire those. I mean, there's no sense in just holding right. them. You got one right here. That's about it. All right, there it goes. Nice. All right, there we are. So the ship is alight now. Well, not on fire, but it's kind of lit up by the uh, light of the flare. So, you know, I'm going to call it, I think the dining room that we were searching for is just the lounge in first class. It's not really a, uh, there's a, not really a designated dining room for the first class. It just seems to be the lounge. But uh, third class and, um... Second class do get their own dining room, which is very nice. Well, there we go. The flare is in the water still going off. And the new update has uh, caused the water to actually look like land when there's a light in it, which is interesting. Oh, I've fallen off the ship through a gap between the lifeboat. Great. Reminds me of that passenger. I think it was on lifeboat 10. She slipped and she had to get pulled back on board. And then she went back up and got back on the boat again. Really? Yeah. So how are things down in the forecastle deck? Well, below the forecastle deck. Uh, still listing quite a bit. I don't see any water, but I did see that uh, at the bottom of the stairs, I opened the door and water came gushing through like totally. Oh wait, there's water pouring in from one side into the Scotland Road. Are you serious? Where? Like, well, it's this push door here. All right, I'm coming down right now. Oh it's, no, it's that's the boiler room. Coming through. Yeah. So it looks like, um. Okay, this door is not opening anymore, but uh, that door is leaning to the top of the boiler room. So when I was last down there, the water was not at that height. So it seems like it's now filled the entire boiler room up. So 
it looks like we are running out of time fast. Once this area floods, I think it's going to start evening out, which will be good for lowering boats, but we'll have to quickly adjust the davits so that the boats can lower evenly and not hit the side, because right now they're reeled in quite a bit. The water's just now reaching the well deck. Really? Yep. All right, it's we are now starting to run holes. out of time. I'm going to go down below. I will be back. I have broken my legs. There we are. I'm going to close that door there. So, at this point, realistically, this area would be abandoned. You know what I do like? I gotta just stop here and look at this area. They have actually made it so the winches have, I would just say, bossed when gates around them, or just regular gates mm. around them. Which, would you say that that's accurate for ships at the time? Uh, let me come take a look. Yeah, just be careful. They also have a uh, little bit of an elevator as well, but right over here. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Because... I'm not sure myself, but it would make sense just since this is like a public area. You don't want anyone messing with like, you know, very delicate just equipment and stuff. So yeah, I do like these doors as well. Those are very nice. Oh wow, um, it's uh, still flooding. Oh yeah, it's flooding in a lot more now. I like the pipes that they have here as well. That is super nice. So uh, down here. Why don't you go open that door? Yeah, not good. Yeah, this is what I saw before. It's still bad. So when I was down here, it was only just a little bit up to the door's entrance. It wasn't flooding in all the way like it is there. So the water seems to have accelerated much more than before. So yeah, I'm going to quickly run through here. So how long do you estimate the ship has? Uh, I'd say another 10, 15 minutes. All right, yeah. At most. So, I've just noticed the uh, well deck is also on the same deck that the promenade is on, yeah. and there are some open doors on this deck. Oh, boy. That we cannot close. They are just permanently open. So, the sinking may accelerate in literally any minute now. Yeah, it's just this back door back at the staircase in the lounge area. That's going to be a big problem. All right, I'm going to lower our boat. It's literally at the waterline already. I think I can just cut it. There we go. It is in the water. And there we are. It's interesting because I could see it right here from the promenade. I could just hop through it if I wanted. Hello, how are you doing? Well, and no, you can't. It. Yep. It's my boat now. Only one person could go on it. Luckily, there is another boat. So, uh, oh, actually, no. No, there is not. Well, back on board. Uh, we have no more boats. Um, and we are sinking a lot faster now. So, yeah. I'm really starting to get a little worried. The water is... Oh, it is very close to the deck. Very close. Oh, yep. The uh, forecastle deck is taking on water. Wait, I was wrong. We have one boat remaining. But know. it's fully swung out, and uh, yeah, it's it sort of be stuck. It just to swing it back into the deck and then just let it float off if that's possible. That might be a possibility. I'm trying to see if we can. It is, it's sort of stuck, yeah. Yeah, I can raise it. Yeah, thank you. I'll push it, it. Oh, this is uh, this is not looking good. You know what? While you figure out our boat situation, I'm going to go down below one last time. Just to get an you understanding of uh, what it looks like down below. All right, I'm going to go to the third class section. Oh, um, I found the water. It is just outside the uh, third class dining room. All right, we really don't have a lot of time left. I'd give this ship maybe one to two minutes left. Surprising how slow it's taken at this point. It's yeah, it's gonna go a while. lot faster when uh, yeah, the water's already here The water is at the uh, the main level of the grand staircase the lounge oh, Well, yeah, it's not gonna be long after that. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, oh No, uh, I'm gonna have to go into the other side. Oh, yeah, um, our precious yeah. bridge is now beginning to flood at this stage Oh, what was that? What did the lights just go out? Oh, yeah, they're uh, starting to go. Uh-oh, they're, they're sequentially going. going out. Okay, um, should we get to the boats? Uh, I believe so. This might be it. Yep, all right, let's go. I really hope this works. I really hope we float off, because the water is at the base of the number one funnel right now. Oh, my gosh, here comes that wave. Be it quite slow, but it's here. There goes uh, the first boat there. It is floating off, and yeah, I'm glad I'm not in it. Broken davit. There goes the funnel. Here we go. 
We are going under. There's the stern. Wow, look at that. It is going vertical. No splitting action, which is fine. It is a small ship. It's not really going to split. So the bow is just dragging it down. I'm on an overturned boat here. It got caught on one of the vents. It's being pulled down. This has just been a remarkable build. I have loved every second of it. Definitely check this creation out in the description below. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.